I'm Ty Quinones, and right now in your 13 Action News update, well, football on pause at Coronado High School. But CCSD officials say that someone from the school has now tested positive for COVID-19, so the football team will not be practicing for at least 10 days. The school administrators, they're trying to decide if the team will have enough time to safely prepare for scrimmages. Well, the state legislature in Carson City is back open to the public. Officials say that everyone right now is working in the building then they've had the opportunity to receive a vaccine. Access, though, is still limited. You do need to make an appointment online before visiting. Appointments are also being accepted to meet with a lawmaker. You will also need to be tested for COVID-19 when you arrive. A proof of vaccination will be accepted as well. well $1,400 for veterans in Nevada. The benefits should be hitting your bank account this week. The money will go to veterans who receive compensation and also pension benefits, but don't normally file a tax return. The payments should show up in your account automatically. A paper checks they are going to be going out over the next several days. Comfortably cool for your Thursday night. Highs today landed four degrees below normal in the mid 70s and we hang on to the 70s approaching dinner time. But once the sun sets, expect 50s with a expect 60s with a clear sky and calm wind after midnight is when we'll drop into the 50s. Highs tomorrow bounce back a bit, landing in the mid to upper 70s with a lot of sunshine and calm wind and enjoy the brief break in the breezy wind because it returns on Saturday. Temperatures drop back to the mid 70s on Saturday with a mostly sunny sky by Sunday. We're Taking off a warming trend that takes temperatures back to the mid 80s by Monday. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.